In this episode of the Evening News, we're here to share with you some of our favorite products. We're really from, professional now. Yeah, we, we, uh, we try to put a map, map of the world behind us and show you the weather report, but... We just have modern art now. The world is chaos, that's why. <laughs> it's March favorites time. We thought we would just kind of narrow it down to our top five favorites. So her top favorites, my top five favorites, um, and just serve it up that way. I have the R Co Park Avenue Blowout Balm. It's really nice. I think it's a little expensive for the size, but at the same time, sometimes big sizes overwhelm me. I feel like I can go through this fast. Obviously, if you use too much, it'll weigh down your hair, but for me, it's it's pretty good. It smells good. It comes out pretty quick, so you have to like be careful. Oh, this smells really yeah. nice. It doesn't really linger too long. I've never but, tried um, that brand before. I feel like Oribe owns this, but I'm not sure. Oh. I feel like somebody... It's an offshoot of somebody's company. Is it? I think so, yeah. I think it is. I really like their logos yeah. and stuff, and I think it's really nice and clean, and I've heard so much stuff about this brand. Yeah, it's a great one. So you use this in, on damp hair? Yeah, damp hair. Cool. And I just really stick to my ends. Oh, this smells yeah, so nice. It does. It's so It's almost like a cucumber, and it won't really mix with like other scents you're going to have. Like mm -hmm. it lasts, but it's not too overwhelming, which is really, really it's nice. It's just clean, so yeah. that kind of plays well with I anything. Like it. Yeah, it's really good. Have you tried anything else from that brand? No, that's no. it. My thing here is a product that we both have. Yeah, you got me into it. You I bought it too, and yeah. this is back into my life. I used up a whole tube, and then I got another one, and this is the Jordan Samuel Skin After Show Cleanser. I traveled with this last month. I love taking this when I travel because I feel like it's the only thing that you need. It works as a makeup removing product, and it also works in the morning. I like the fact that it's really gentle and kind on the skin. What a couple of ladies on Instagram suggested doing was using it as a mask before you go into the shower to kind of yeah. like protect your skin against like the heat and steam or whatever. So I did that a couple of times and my skin just felt so nice and comfortable afterwards. Usually if I take a really hot shower, when I leave the shower, my skin feels really dry, but this kind of protects it a little bit and I'm just really happy to have this in my life again. I really, really like it. It smells really nice too. I think if you are based in the US and you can order this from Jordan's website, I think it is like, you have to try it. It's a no brainer. The next I have another hair product. <laughs> it's by Bumble and Bumble. It's the BB Preta Powder, uh, the Tray Invisible. It's a dry shampoo with French pink clay. I love it. And I, um, I think it did extend my style or my hairstyle because I, Styled it and I sprayed this when I first finished, so it really just kind of feels good. It doesn't usually get greasy, but like the third or fourth day, I kind of extended it. I still needed to spray it again. It feels really good. There's no cast whatsoever. Yeah, because so your hair is super dark, so yeah. you need like... Because sometimes you'll use powder and it really looks like you have dandruff, and it's, yeah. it's not a good look, but I like it. I just... I like that they give you um, some smaller sizes, like travel sizes, test stuff out. I love it. Yeah, it's great. So good job. Another skincare product for me, and it's the sunscreen by Tatcha. I wanted something that would play really well with makeup because the other sunscreen by Elta MD right. that I used last year was beautiful on the skin, but it made my makeup pill on top. Oh, right. So this. I just started using this again after some sunscreen fails, and I just appreciate this so much. It makes your makeup go on beautifully after. It's kind of like really? a pore refining primer and sunscreen in one. It kind of has a sunscreen scent. It doesn't really like... Oh, it smells like um, the pink bottle. Remember the little girl on there? Um, copper tone? Copper tone? Maybe. It's like yeah. a more of a... It it's, does smell like sunscreen. It smells like summer. Yeah. But the texture is so cool. Let me... I need that. Yeah. It smells exactly like sunscreen for like when I was a kid in the summertime. I like it. The texture is nice and it feels good too. I think it's better than the clearance. Especially for oily, like oily combination skin or if you have large pores, yeah. which a lot of oilier skin types tend to have larger pores. This is just beautiful and um, I mean I'm, I'm gonna keep trying other sunscreens just because it's so, this is just expensive to keep repurchasing like every three months, however. Yeah. But this is awesome. This one, it's the Kat Berkey Balancing Elixir. It really does control my oil. Um, I like how it smells, it dries down fast. I do wait and I just kind of fan my face for it to just um, mm -hmm. sink in. If I would get oily maybe seven hours into the day, this kind of, I don't know what it does. It's just amazing. It really does balance it out and it just kind of, disperses the oil well. I don't like to use this all the time just because I like to give my face a break. So if you're oily, get this stuff, it's great. I have a little brush here, and this brush. is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. It's dirty because I just used it, but I, I've i had this for a long time, and for a long time I was using this as a brush for my, clean, my cream blushes, <laughs> and 
for some reason this month I decided to use it to blend out like my concealer and I love it. It's been working really well. It ends up giving a more sheer application than my more dense Sephora number 57 right, brush. Right. And I've just been really, I've been really into like the lighter weight, glowier yeah. bases. If my skin is behaving, I like to kind of get away with as little coverage as I can. So this has been really nice. Sometimes I even just use the, um, like the Glossier stretch concealer. I just use it as a foundation and I just use this brush. To really? Kind of put it on wherever. Try that out. Yeah. I would be saying nice things. Stuff is good. One. It's good. I have a cella. Like I got this in like some box somewhere. I like knows. the hand the writing. It's yeah, pretty. Yeah, it's really really pretty. It's called Hello Beautiful Eyes and it's just I mean, I've, I've used stuff like this before. It's just kind of like something you put under your brows or in the inner corner mm -hmm. of your eye or you can use it as like, you know, on your um on your waterline to kind of brighten your eye. But I like it more than expensive. It's like a ones. flesh tone. It's it nice. Is. And I like it because the other ones for your brown bone were just so white and they're so intense. But this one is really smooth. It's really, really creamy. It doesn't accentuate any dryness. It blended out beautifully. It, it didn't settle into like any of the lines or anything. Sometimes when people like, when you carve out your eyebrows and you use um, concealer, it's like so white and it's so harsh. Yeah. This is smooth. I'm more natural anyway. So mm -hmm. I like this a lot. I don't know. I've had this for a couple of Where'd years. Where'd you get though. it from? Birchbox? Probably one of those things years ago. So ugh, it's been around for a long time. We're gonna Google it. We're gonna yeah. see if we can, if it's still around. Yeah, I, I, hopefully it is. I guess I'm gonna talk about these two products together because they're lip products, and I've just been more into less nude lips this month. That's what I'm wearing today, and it's the YSL Liquid Color Balm. Yes, and it's nice. in the shade number five and I just love the fact that it literally is like a liquid version of a lip balm Like it's not too shiny. It's not too pigmented. Does it dry? Like your lips out? No. no, it's like a lip balm. The applicator is a little lip. It's oh, that's really cute. So it's such nice touches. They're packaging. They really think about their packaging, which is the nice. only thing that sucks is if you're not into the scent yeah. because I know that some people hate the YSL lip product scent. This smells like the YSL lip products. I personally love the yeah, scent. I love it too. Um, so it doesn't bother me, but just be aware this is not an unscented lip product. But I just really love Those it for every day. Look nice on you though too. The corals so comfortable. always look good. And then for a more intense look, I've really been enjoying this thing. This is the Marc Jacobs. They're like the liquid lip crayons and it's in the shade Frambois. Aww. I don't know, I've just been craving bolder lips which is kind of rare for me because I'm usually always into nudes, right. but I've been wearing this like when I go out at I night. That. That's really nice. Does and it it's, move? Like, does no, it, it doesn't. Like I've gone through eating and like drinking and it doesn't. Like it really? fades beautifully. It's like a liquid lipstick, but in crayon form. Okay. I like the packaging on this. I like the circle. It's more light in texture than the NARS matte velvet lip okay. pencils. Okay. So this is those are a bit stiff. Yeah, no, That's this why. is like nothing on your lips. Like if you... No, that feels, oh, that feels really good. It's so thin. That's nice. It's like non-existent color deposit. It's just beautiful. So such a light texture. The only thing I don't like is the color selection. Um, I really like this color. They don't have any good nudes in the no. line. And even the bolder colors that they have, nothing else is really catching my eye. So I hope that they extend the shades because this formula is really innovative and it's really, really good. It's the perfect hybrid between a lip pencil and a liquid lip without the crustiness and dryness yeah. of typical liquid lipsticks. I have something by Adele called Stroke a Brow, the feathering pen. I've been so curious about that. I keep yeah. seeing it on Instagram. It's, so my coworker just told me about it. He used to work at Sally's and he's like, yeah, I love it. I should have gotten the black, but I was thinking black was too dark. Mm -hmm. I got the like, the medium brown but it's like the Kat Von D um, do you remember her like liners yeah it's like that where if you have it out for too long it goes dry really quick okay and if you store it upside down with the felt tip facing obviously down mm -hmm. it becomes really dark and if you store it like this then you know it dries out so you have to kind of just store it like on its side interesting yeah I want the black one I think though too we'll does see. it give you a oh better it's result perfect like it's it's oh it's dry it's dead but it's so thin. I love it so much. It looks like... Like brow hairs. Yeah. But, um, Instagram makeup artist, Katie Jane Hughes, that oh, I, love I love to watch. Yeah. And she just did a tutorial where she showed how she fills in her eyebrows with that product. Mm -hmm. And she has super, super sparse eyebrows, but you would never guess because yeah. she fills them in. She draws the brow hairs with that pen and yeah. they, it looks 
totally like hairs. I was mesmerized. I'm like, yeah. I need to buy that. I love her. She does everything and anything, and she just looks insanely incredible. I love so. it when she does like the pink eyeshadow yeah. with the red lip. Yeah. I'm like, do I need to try that? Yeah. I, we, I look sick because I have brown eyes, so I just look really oh, sick. Oh, I probably will look sick yeah. too because I don't, oh, man, they didn't think about eye color. I didn't think about that. No, you always, always think about eye color. So, I mean, I've done reds, and even then, I'm like, remember, because my Tom Ford, and then I bought the quad. The Rouge Quad from Chanel. Mm -hmm. And you don't like it? I love them. I have to anchor them somehow with a brown or like a black, otherwise, I look sick. In my mind, I would like to be more adventurous when it comes to eyeshadows. No, I try. But <laughs> that comfort zone, like the warm, neutral brown comfort zone, is just too cozy for and me to ever leave. Yeah, when you're, when you're in a rush, like I always am. You cannot rush blue eyeshadow, like you can't. No. It's either like precision or, so I have five minutes, I'm doing the quickest. That, yeah. That's it. Put it on my, my MAC wedge and my eye lid. <laughs> Cause that, naked that's, basics a, that's too. yeah. We're the, we're the naked basics here. <laughs> One and two. Anything else you've been loving? Like are there any podcasts, books? Albums, TV shows that you've been loving this month? Uh, TV shows, I have a few. Um, Did you watch Queer Eye? Oh yeah, Aww. I cried at every Me episode. Too. And I think that's what people realize, especially during these times when everybody is so divided. Yeah. When you talk to people, just like on a one-to-one -one basis, we all want the same thing. There's a new architect architecture show it's english it's on um, is it the, the house that was like a plane yeah, yeah okay yeah. yeah i started watching that too i really like i don't yeah. know what it's called though i can't um, remember but she made piers is um i think his name is piers yeah piers is the architect and he's the other host it's really cool to see what people do um with a lot of money and imagination and helicopters flying i mean the wall so that's yeah cool. what about you i didn't have I, i've been watching we are we actually just started watching that architecture show a couple weeks ago and i wish i could remember what it was called i keep wanting to say grand designs but that's a different show no that was a great show that's too. also really I good i highly recommend that one what book are you reading right now i'm reading that healthcare book okay it's called doing harm the text is really long but it starts with doing harm and it's about how uh women are kind of discriminated against in the, and, and overlooked in yeah. the healthcare industry. The book is actually really good. I like that it, it comes from, it's not, it, it has a lot of statistics and right. a lot of scientific information, but it's not presented in a dry, typical right. science-y right. way. She, she just explains things in a very relatable, conversational right. manner, which I'm enjoying. It, it makes the book easier to read and easier to get through because other medical books that I've read in the past have been really difficult for me to kind of get in the groove just because they're so dry. Like after, after 10 pages, I'm like, okay, I need to take a break. What are you reading right now? Gut Bliss, another healthcare book. Oh. <laughs> it's about women's um, digestive issues. I'm probably gonna, um, need, yeah. gonna need to read that after. The, yeah. blo the bloating is real. Oh, it's so real. And she started actually, she, this um, doctor was, um, she studied at Georgetown, was a typical GI doctor doing a lot of procedures and stuff. Then she noticed um, herself and her patients and just the changes that women go through and she started a women's um, digestive center. And so she tried to take a more holistic approach mm -hmm. as well as um, in, so in, just integrative medicine. I don't follow, I should be following stricter diets, but I don't. Life is short, eat the croissant that's, basically. That's oh. Eat the flan, eat the yeah. croissant, eat it all. <laughs> just enjoy it. But just, you know, also make sure you're eating salads and vegetables yeah. as well. What music have you been listening to so far? Nothing. Nothing? No. I listened to the Black Panther soundtrack after I watched Black Panther. Did you like I it? Really I haven't seen it yet. Chris and yes. I are so mad. Are you listening doing? to anything? Is there anything? I, I just listen to podcasts while Random, I'm in the car now. Like Death of Lovers is really, really good. I think they're from Pittsburgh. I like them a lot. Um, Black Angels are coming to town. I'd love to see them. I just don't, I don't really go to concerts much anymore. I just remember we went to the phase where we kept going to concerts together yeah. and every time we were stuck between a tall man that was obstructing the All view the and then a couple making out. There making was like out. hardcore Radio making out. Making out. It was like, you know, <laughs> It's just all the time. Did you end up getting Radiohead tickets? No. No, me neither. And they were on StubHub for, for like $500. <laughs> like, I watched a documentary on it. There's yeah. like a guy from Quebec that is the man in Quebec that's like ruling StubHub. Meanwhile, we're just sitting here on like toads. <laughs> Bitching like, about it on YouTube. Oh, we're not even doing anything. With, with death hands. I have to find this YouTube profile thing. They're a really, really cute couple. They're Canadian. They're redoing a farmhouse. And oh, that's just, cool. That's oh, fun. So cool. I think you would I'm love it. I'm down with um, that. Sorry, let me just... You know we're old when we stop caring about like concerts, concerts and we start caring about home, home renovation projects. His name is called uh, Wabi Sab 
dash E and it's called farmhouse restoration. I'll have, I'll send it. Yeah, we'll put it in. We'll it. put it, we'll link it down below. It's the boyfriend and girlfriend. They're doing the work themselves. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And I don't know. I just, it's craftsmanship. It's just amazing to see somebody create something and start to finish. So would you ever do something like that? Um, we put together Ikea furniture before. So we, I mean, we survived. I like, I like to use like media, my, my videos that I watch and the, the sh TV shows and movies. I like to leave feeling like happy and uplifted and inspired. I don't like feeling up upset because <laughs> I'm like already upset about plenty of like real yeah. things happening. But another good show on Netflix is called um, Love. Have you heard oh, of it? Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah. I've never watched it though. And it's third season. I used to hate the characters and I like the characters, but I have to be in like the a really, yeah, because they do such a great job of portraying really shitty people. Um, but it's really, it's really, really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think that's it. Those are, the, the sun has gone down. Thank you so much for watching. This was fun. Yes. Until and, next uh, time. Until next time. Have a great day. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye.